Welcome everyone to a, a brand new thing, just a, just a brand new thing on this little YouTube channel. We are going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, we are joined by Tyler today, who is going to be playing it first and foremost, because he knows very, very, very little about it. And naturally, when you find such a rare human being, you must exploit them. So Davey, myself, and Morgan are familiar with this game. And the four of us are going to be voicing the characters in this whole thing. And just, you know, we're just here for the ride. It's, it's, we're, we're drinking. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. I, I know absolutely nothing about this other than, like, what is presented to me and the fact that... <laughs> and, the f <laughs> and the fact that uh, Jake and Davey clearly felt that this would be a worthwhile endeavor <laughs> to record yep. me playing this. Yep. Um, so, so some red flags should be popping up already. Yep. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I we... the reddest flag. <laughs> yes. So let's see what happens. Um, All right. We're we're gonna voice characters, and so this is mm -hmm. gonna be interesting. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance. Rude. Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. I guess, I guess I'll keep this bitch around. <laughs> but we, we, you, you're not in the scene. We used to walk to school <laughs> together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I hated that. <laughs> what uh, the fuck? Can get, uh, can we, uh, okay, just, just one second, Jake. Uh, we'll just, uh, can we get uh, can we get Nolan North for this? Um, <laughs> we need to call Nolan North, and we also need to swat Jake. <laughs> That'd be so easy to do. <laughs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. You sound like fucking Herbert of a family guy. That's mean, Tyler. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. A couple of besties. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. Mar Maron. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <sighs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Tyler, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told, I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> Damn. 
Maybe he's got a problem about this chick. <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Me, have a night to say neat! <laughs> <laughs> All right, er, fucking, you trust me, <laughs> right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little harder? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Because you're a stupid and simple cunt, that's why. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself <laughs> relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna watch the... Apocalypse Now tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in for just as emotional of an experience. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. They're basically the same thing. Yeah, the horror. Oh, Give horror. me back the board, Lance. It was a good board, and I liked it. <laughs> you know how hard it is Saw to find a snail a crawling wheel. along the edge of a razor. Fuck. <laughs> the school this day. This is the end. <laughs> the school day. Saigon. I'm still in Saigon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never stops raining in Vietnam. <laughs> I love to smell the napalm in the morning. It's enough. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. What's up, bitch? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, y you know... Know what? And suck your dick. <laughs> well, you could come to my club, if you know what I mean. Sayori. Yeah? What's cooler than being ice cool? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> There is no way I'm going to your club. You fuckhead. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Put some respect on my name, whore. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. Hello, wants what I have. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And uh, Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> don't, make, <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an earhead, 
or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long... <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by. For a cupcake. Okay? Yay! Let's go! Gotta warn you though, there's a store pot and dry as a rock. <laughs> That's if you can't bake for shit. <laughs> End of us. Today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Well, eat your soul, filthy human. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, Swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I'll refer to your member however I fucking like, bitch. I glance around the room. Is this me? I think yes. this <laughs> Okay. Welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Sayori always has nice things to say about you. <laughs> Later, Alan Rickman. Seriously, <laughs> you brought a boy. <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, Tyler. Or, wait, no, that's Natsuki's voice. Or not Nats. I can't even. Oh, I'm so fucking drunk already. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not a. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. Tyler, what a nice surprise. Make it Welcome double. to the club. <laughs> Ellipsis? <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I know you want to fuck me. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Did you just come? That's Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Oh, that's nasty. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. So you're to blame for this. That's not the line. You harlot. Read the line. Oh shit, I didn't even know it was me. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest person in the club. Don't don't, don't say things like that. (laughs) Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Oh. I can... I can't even... Oh. <clears throat> ah. Fucking... Why is it so weird? It's great to see you again, Tyler. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So She's got a killer rack, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> You're so slightly thrust out. <laughs> Ever so at slightly. Given, at any given opportunity. This bitch is an oblique angle. <laughs> Having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little 
Gay? You too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Tyler. We made a room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Tada! Natsuki <laughs> lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori talks with her mouthful and has oh, already oh. managed to get icing on her oh. face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Motherfucker, it's a cupcake! Eat it! Natsuki. It's literally- there. What ang- hang on, what angle? It's a circular object. Natsuki is quiet. Oh, you I eat it from the ass up. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. <laughs> thank, thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's it's not like I... Me? <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Christian Mark? Need them for you or anything? Uh, I, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. All right. All right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. You say all right so often. What are you, Andre 3000? <laughs> You're. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Y you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't let yourself get get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? eh? That's that's not. Mm. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I 
I'm glad. The motherfucker doesn't know how to read. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, Don't worry, I know you came here to get loads of pussy. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Why do we have the same voice? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Get, get your own fucking voice, Monica. Okay, um, fucking... Fuck, I was gonna do Davy's voice for, for fucking Natsuki. Shit! Um... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. As the president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I think, think I think Jake, that's the funniest possible voice you could have picked. So, yeah. well. <laughs> cast member of King of the Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? You sure are asking a whole lot of fucking questions. Where are you, the goddamn FBI? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Yep. Uh, to be honest, I, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and public publicity and how to prepare for events. I would much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it so make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling the dream. Monica really is a great leader. <laughs> Yuri also nods in agreement. Mm, you know, yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised. There aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. I'm quite confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Monica, did you have something to drink before the meeting? Right, everybody? Mm. Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find those three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new <laughs> member joining. <laughs> Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Boy, are you slow? So, Tyler, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I butter quietly to myself. Oh, great, another one. I'm joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces My the... Sorry. <laughs> Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. I mean, that's, uh -huh. that's just gross. 
My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Look how you became Inigo Montoya. <laughs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally <laughs> impressive. Fuck it yeah, out, man. What are you doing? <laughs> he told me to pivot, so I pivoted. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Judgmental fuckhead. But you know, <laughs> I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. It is amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. That sounds ominous. Well, I, I read a horror book once. Mmm. more than <laughs> I thought. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. You're fucking telling me. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I swear to fucking God, this club is nothing but judgmental assholes. <laughs> I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I hate horror. <laughs> that sounded vaguely Scottish. <laughs> I, you all were pivoting. I'm pivoting too. Give me a few I, lines to this, figure it. The comedy is about yes and. <laughs> I no, I I'm rolling with it. I, it's a great <laughs> choice. Oh, why's that? Well. I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Uh, what the fuck? Other one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What, what gives you that idea? You fucking moron, you left a piece of scrap paper right behind the last club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called, uh... Don't say it out loud. Give that back. I have no idea what fucking voice I'm doing. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Jesus, all right. <sighs> Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and <sighs> puts her hand on her shoulders. All right, this is crossing over into sexual harassment. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well... I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Okay, Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> I drink and I know things. <laughs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and... Help that Suki feel comfortable enough to share hers so I can rip her heart out of her chest and eat it. Ellipses. 
I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everybody's poems. <laughs> we all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Ellipses. Huh? You got what? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Don't you fucking dare look at me quizzically, goddammit. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all be able to share them with one another. What was that way, was the... everyone is even. What this was the fucking literature club. I just wanted to read Jane Eyre. Uh, um. Ellipses. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Did it all for the nookie. <laughs> 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 Mm, that was close. <laughs> okay. Mm. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will be, I think it will help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club, as it were. Isn't that right, Tyler? Shame on me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get fooled again. <laughs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. God damn, you fucking complain a lot. What the fuck is wrong now? <laughs> now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um I lose my train of thought all four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes but, 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 but. I am sorry I thought oh. Tyler you all, I, I, I am defenseless against these girls. What no how, pussy does do a motherfucker, am I right? <laughs> how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision? Amen, brother. I'm doing Russian now. Like this. <laughs> if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Fucking incel. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yeah, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really <laughs> did scare me for a moment. Don't fucking cough at me. I will kill you in your sleep. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Jesus Christ, that is awful. <laughs> and great. I um, mean, yeah. Then, uh, let's make that. That makes it official. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everybody. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everybody, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Tyler, I really look forward to how you express yourself. <laughs> you fucked that up. I think I think it was better Fuck this way. You. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my 
mediocre writing skills. Absolutely I, not. Unlikely. I already <laughs> feel the anxiety welling up inside me. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll be inside you. Give it time. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Women be shopping, am I right? Oi. Hey, Tyler. Since we oh, I, I combined those two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyler. Gone with the we're wind already here. Shit. Do you want to walk home together? Um. <laughs> Frankly, my Sayori, I don't give a damn. That, that, that's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubbings, clubs. <laughs> for clubbing? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I'll suck your fucking dick, man. <laughs> Yay! With that, drink this bourbon really fast. <laughs> the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls: Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri. Good evening, and of course, Monica. <laughs> You're a fuck, you fucking incel. <sighs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh shit! I fucking, I've been fucking waiting to fucking do something. Finally, okay. That face when you've never read a visual novel. Fuck off with that shit. It was it was very funny. Mm -hmm. No, I've never played a novel before. Visual. That's what he Visual. said. Yeah. Visual novel. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't think it's absurd to think that if you could download something off of Steam, you could be able to play it. Thank you, Morgan. You do slash Yuri. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something. All right, good. Tyler, who do you want to fuck? <laughs> yes. Better not awaken anything in me. Something good might happen with whoever likes the po your poem the most. Oh, it's probably for the best. <laughs> it's probably for the best that I have ones to choose from instead of having to write them. Um, uh... Filling in Yola Tango lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> um, cute. Oh, wait, we only get to pick Sorry. one from the list. Okay. All yep. right. I have to think carefully then. Yep. I have to, I need to offset the last one. So death. Yes, um, a lot's riding on this. Um, hmm. I'm just going to, actually, you know what? I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to go for the word that I like the most. Go. Uh, <laughs> um, it's funny. Tyler's a fucking queer. Poofta. Fucking poofta. Um, that's it. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Sticky cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my uh, nickname yes. in college. <laughs> yes. Well, good for you. Bouncy alone time. A oh, funny coincidence, mine's alone vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna piss myself. That's, that's so stupid. <laughs> this is either gonna be the best or the worst video on the whole channel. Yep. Kitty, kitty graveyard. <laughs> oh, that's what we call my past. <laughs> I, I, I oh like boy, we're breaking out the second can, ladies and gentlemen. I like to imagine that agonizing. I like to imagine that agonizing crimson is a Crayola color. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a Agonize. King Crimson live album. Uh, it's uh, like a Seether album name. 
Something stupid like that. Passion disaster is what happens when I have sex. <laughs> wow, we, we, we're, we're getting DR. Uh, sweet contamination is what happens when I have sex. <laughs> Remind me to never have sex with you. Dream is what happens. Your loss. When I have it's faith. Hey, it's worth it. <laughs> Can't um, wait to finish to visit the angry universe. <laughs> sadness. <laughs> oh, look, sadness lollipop. I don't even need to say a single thing. Or as I call it, Twitter. <laughs> My it's the reboot of the dark universe from Universal. <laughs> the anger universe, but everyone's just played by Johnny Depp. Yes, precisely. I think this is how the Cocteau twins wrote their lyrics. It's me, Dave, and all that me goes. realize that was coming out of my mouth and it halfway through. <laughs> it just happened. For all you loyal jams and tea viewers, um, if you think this is what being friends with them is always like, where they just say the names of artists you've never heard of and you laugh <laughs> like, you, like you know what they're talking about, yes, that's what it's actually like. Wonderful. Silence, Sondheim, Stan. Another, and drunk. And another Crayola color here, Suicide Pink. <laughs> Now we have to play Danganronpa. Oh my god. Oh, we'll be here for so much longer. <laughs> uh, I can hear I'm the heart saying, piecing as one. I'm not seeing I'm not saying no. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love Melody Mouse in their album The Lonesome Crowded West. <laughs> Ellen Collie in the infinite ambient. There's another joke for you. <laughs> Vertigo Boop is the name of my self-titled album. Isn't that a Biffy Clara album? <laughs> Vertigo Boop. Hey, uh. Max. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Waterfall climax. Well, hey. That's that's me. Well, I mean. Dreamers. And all right, we're back. Because my Tommy work fault. So, oh shit! <clears throat> Hi again, Tyler. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This is just Jason Sudeikis and Ted Lasso now. <laughs> this might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Man, of my word. I was the last to come in. So mm -hmm. everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Tyler. I hope this isn't too overwhelming a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Bah! Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or whatever. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. I know people. That's a death threat. Matsuk, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly. <laughs> it's called hentai and it's art. <laughs> Medium's favorite cooking of steak. <laughs> Swiftly defeated. It is only way I know how to get off. Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Tyler always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He always gives the best head. As long as he's having fun. He, he has helps me fun. with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, giving me head. 
Mm, so he's a simp. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> These people are all playing 4D chess with each other. <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? Can you be playing 1D chess? Because I think that's more accurate. <laughs> no, I don't suppose you can. Anyway, I might be a little jealous. Well, how come you and Tyler can become pretty good friends too? Uh, fucking, uh, um, uh, the uh, goddamn, uh. So, Sayori. Ellipsis. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri brought you something today, you know. Wait, wait, wait Sayori? Uh, uh, me? <clears throat> um, not, not really. Don't be shy, you fucking Beach pussy. Mind, mind your own fucking business. It's really nothing. What is it? Dip, dip, never mind. <gasps> oh, shit. Okay, that's still my mind. So you always <laughs> sound like a, made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't really thinking. I guess it means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. It's so. Yeah. <laughs> I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read, you fucking numbskull. You know, just fucking lose the stank. And we could, you know... It's not Yuri's fault she doesn't shower. Discuss it if you wanted. The, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? I'm really glad we're finally exploring the sexual tension between us, even if it is through acting roles. Uh, look, I'm gonna need... I mean, you guys will never... You guys have not been reading the fan mail that I send to the show asking about it, so you might as well do it here. I, I'm gonna need weeks of therapy when this is done. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you will. How do you think that's supposed to make me feel? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club uh, i'm sorry that so doesn't fucking what but that there's a, doesn't there's a c in that word but that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> well, that seem... doesn't seem to be the shesh that doesn't seem to be the case sayori and monica are having a Siri conversation in the corner. 
Yuri's face is already buried in the brook. I can't help but notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Crazy bitch. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of... What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga! <laughs> Read manga, right? Ah. Sometimes... Manga is one of those things where you can't really admit you're into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Crikey! <laughs> oh, you... the Tasmanian tiger. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I see. <laughs> There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Now, Suki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Yes, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Oh, I know that feel. I'll get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? <laughs> <laughs> It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply ass. If you're going to judge, you can go do it to the glass on the door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, comrade. <laughs> Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't you judge added a book. Teas to that word. <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Next, Suki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! Or I steer at the cover. It Why did you say that you were like you were the lead singer of the Chameleons? <laughs> <laughs> it features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It is exceedingly. <laughs> Either this is pronounced Moe. I don't. I wish you hadn't told me how it was pronounced. I really <laughs> wanted him to say it's exceedingly mo. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Mo money, it, mo problems. Mo sizzlack. Like. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Ooh ah. <laughs> Ooh ah. <laughs> Natsuki grabs my arm, pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall, beneath the window sills. She pats on the gown next to you, signalling me to sit there. W wouldn't chairs be more comf- I take my seat. 
chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 what is that? Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Hey. D- damn, don't you just, just say that. Suck already, god damn. You'll make me feel weird about it. Matt Suki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. The fuck is an inch? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to either. Not, not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. She's a nice enough bird. I opened the book. <laughs> I, I've never quite I've never met a Sheila quite like this before. <laughs> it's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again centimeters closer, regaining the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Oh, uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of mates in high school. Typical slice of life affair. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just this, this, uh, this Japanese schoolboy saying, Oh yeah, me and me mates. <laughs> so we got a... a... A, a Japanese Australian schoolboy. We have a Japanese American Southern woman, a Japanese Russian woman, a Japanese Spanish woman, and Sayori. A, a Japanese quite... Spanish slash Severus Snape, depending on her. <laughs> Spanish or... British. Yeah. I kind of grew out of these. <laughs> <laughs> grew. <laughs> Since it's, for the for the right to, since it's rare for the right for the right to be... <laughs> Why are you Can't singing this like that's Twilight Sad lyrics? That's yeah, because I'm singing Twilight Sad lyrics. Since it's rare. People downstairs. <laughs> Fucking let me speak. Ugh. I kind of grow out of these. Since <laughs> it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough. <laughs> To, to make up for the lack of plot. So. <laughs> what? What should I expect from this thing? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that did not have plot? <laughs> I mean. Well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about it's, it's simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at an ice cream shop. But that's just to help you get to know characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they get into their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That, that's really what makes it just so good. <laughs> there are so many... Touching parts. Oh. Not touching oh, parts. Is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> Worse than baby hey, Scottish. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Ooh, uh... Oh, oh, <laughs> I need that clip for the rest of my life. So Natsu- drunk. Natsuki gives me a little shove. 
I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power yet. Good save. Uh, this this check just seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, first of all, it's manga. <laughs> Don't fucking make that mistake again, or I will kill you. Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It, it does not. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... It's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Baby I would never get into anything because it's in the manga. I feel bad I for come it. from a land down manga. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, 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 ja. Ding dong. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it. So who am I to judge? Oh. oh. So fucking close. We you are. Also, it so should weird. be said that the creator of this game specifically was like, they're all 18. Don't be weird about it. So, <laughs> just so we all know. I mean, well, <laughs> too little, too late. <laughs> um, Morgan decisively says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, is that it's simply not possible for me to be attracted to any of these women. These candy coated fuckers. We we read on for a few more minutes. <clears throat> I finished a couple chapters at this point. Ellipsis. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. I even do, you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. Super cop. Meet the cop that can't be stopped. I, that <laughs> is exactly, I thought the same thing. <laughs> Meet the cop can't be if stopped. If you say so. Constable Butterman. No luck catching them swans then. I don't know. Pub. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Finger her up the duck pond. It looks please. <laughs> you don't? Um. That's not... Well, they wouldn't really know. Fuck you on a bit. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't share this with any of your friends. <laughs> you, stu you stupid cunt. <laughs> Do not Smell do it again. Jeez. Ah. Happy poly orgies. <laughs> Happy poly orgies. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, I could never get my friends to read this smut. They just think manga is for kid. <laughs> I can't even bring it up without them being all like... Eh, you haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. That's not my grandmother. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Much less friends. <laughs> <laughs> who are also into it. Just for one sentence, keep an accent, please. Like, I don't mind if you go in between. No, no, like, no. For one line, just keep one accent. Uh, um, no! <laughs> oh oh my kind of, god. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yes, that is accurate. I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. In comfort. At least it's safe here in the club room. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? Except Monica was kind of a cunt about it. Proudly. Just could not win, can't I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, eating it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Ellipses. So? Ah. Uh... Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah. I'll flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. Uh, 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 uh. I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Get your finger out of me, panel. Minori is my favorite character. Get out, Mika! <laughs> you always feel a little bad for her since she is so unlucky. <laughs> But they become especially bad when... Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It is a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. More like bussy tone. Right. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> but if She's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends. I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience. <laughs> the thought makes me smile a little to myself. All right, everybody. Hey. Y'all ready with today's poems? Ellipsis. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? You're cock blocking me. It's uh, sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. They do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back to me? Don't you want to know what happened? Oh, uh, yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah, nah. Monica just said... Don't be a cunt. Just take it home with you. In your bed. What the fuck are you on about, you silly bitch? Is that really all right? <laughs> I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Bill, of course. 
It would take forever to finish if you didn't just take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Boy. You get bent. Tomorrow? I only, no. got part, I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Okay. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. Oh, God. By the way, oh, God, I can't fucking read. Did you... Re... What the fuck does that say? Remember? Did you... Do you remember to write the poem last night? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've, I've, I've never really done this before. Well, not everybody. Fucking shit, I lost my place. Now that everyone's ready. Now that everybody's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Well, I can't wait. So, so Ori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. I'll pull out my poem, all right. Shut up. Stop. That's just, I mean, that's just gross. I love how I do innuendos and then Jake just spells them out as soon as I'm Right, ready. let's all pull out our poems. <laughs> no, <laughs> baby. Put your, put, your, put your poem back. Don't, get, don't get us demonetized. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Ori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf, torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Though I can't tell from the composition notebook that she is impoverished. <laughs> Nat, Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Hmm. Well, I'm going to pick Sayori just because I haven't heard her voice much recently. And it's probably... And I know you're missing it. I I am. It's one of my favorites. So (laughs) I'm going to go Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Ellipses. This is a good poem, Tyler. Where exactly is this? I had to look at the screen. I have no fucking idea. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all, Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here. Okay. It's like a Mickey Mouse. That's, that, that will be my way of thanking you. All right. I'm going to hold you to that then. Don't I'll hold, hold me. Get your damn hands off of me. Yay! You damn dirty ape. Now you'll read my poem too, right? <laughs> right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Vice president of the literature club. No, that was... Was she? Yeah, I guess yeah, she that, was. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see a bit. 
We'll see about that. That is so fucking ominous. <laughs> I'll, I'll read this poem. Jesus Christ, please do. <laughs> dear, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy yeah. from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you, are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? Uh. I, look, I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Fuck me. Sayori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. The fuck I can't. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. You don't be mean. <laughs> I'll try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> I forgot what how funny mean that line is. I mean, I I forgot how much of an unbelievable bastard this main character is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and... Does that say toast? Yes. Toast! Even though you were late to school? Uh, this... It's bad to stop breakfast. Skip breakfast. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Move along. Yep. All cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway. It must be that... period again, am I right, Phyllis? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> yeah, this was so much fun. Yeah, is it... the fuck? Does that say Monica? Yeah. Oh, Monica's the best. The hell does she have to do with it? Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. Well, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna write the best, the best poem ever. Very drunk. Well, I <laughs> guess, I guess I look forward to it. Who Why should the I? Hell, my friends, with you. Who should I show my poem to next? So none of you can read. I can kind no, of read. Still. All right, well, Natsu oh, well, Natsuki next, then. All right. I'll do Monica if I have to. Ugh. Huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Huh? Uh... <laughs> Tim Allen noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. I, sorry, Net I died a second. Natsuki rereads my poem. <laughs> Why does it sound like Bob Dylan? Ne never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. How does it feel? And <laughs> then what's the point of sharing in the first place? <laughs> I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. <laughs> this, is my, this, is my this is my favorite game, Bob Dylan or the guy from the War on Drugs. <laughs> you raised. <laughs> <laughs> 
promise. <laughs> I'm moving through the door. Anyway. <laughs> that is living in the space between. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. Ooh. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. <laughs> like Monica said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some some dumb poem and make me go, ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real looks like. English and you language went language. and ruined it. Huh? English is not her first language. I hope you're happy. Uh-huh. <laughs> so in other words... <laughs> in other words... Ugh. Trying really hard <laughs> to keep it together right now. <laughs> I'm pissing myself. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we, we may have overcooked this goose just a little bit. Oh, I'm 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 just getting on the label. I'm I'm, I'm, we, I'm have, just we have to... overcooked this gray goose. This is great. I'm just getting to the point where I'm drunk enough. We have to keep going. All right. Oh, all right, right. I'm not saying we should stop. All right. Oh no. Okay. Keep Maybe train, Tyler should just train, keep breathing. Fucking... We should just be here. We're just vibing. So, so in other words. <laughs> Anyway, the thing is, what I really mean. I have to get through this line. I'm gathering <laughs> people wherever you roam. So, 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 so in, in other words, uh, you're saying you liked it? Unk. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. <laughs> just like my, just like your cock. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Urine. <laughs> <laughs> you just you, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're self-important. Natsuki's a second generation immigrant in this version of the story. It's a good character choice. I'm pretty sure you actually never said that. <laughs> oh. Fuck. And uh, the main character is played by Woody Allen for some reason. <laughs> I that makes so much sense for this game. <laughs> this is a unfilmed I, Woody Allen. I'm just imagining just these four. 18 year old girls and then even at best a 45 year old ass Woody Allen just like, like, like well um what, I'll, I'll, like, what would you think about my poem if I if I let you I'm read? wildly uncomfortable with how much sense that makes <laughs> I, I say that mostly to myself <laughs> Natsuki <laughs> must must really hate me or something <laughs> I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem in any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Find my guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can <laughs> climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek. Cheetahs can run, eagles can fly. <laughs> the people can said order in the soundtrack. I thought you people said fetus can run. <laughs> people can no, try, can't. but that's about it. They can uh, <laughs> run down the garden and shoot. Yeah. I told you that you were not going to like. I like. What? 
Are you making fun of my accent? Just be honest. Oh, 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 I'm I being honest. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? This is so cursed. <laughs> Will. <laughs> because. <laughs> Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be sophisticated and smart. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't, isn't the point of poems for, for people to express themselves? Your, your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, Well, thanks exactly. for validating me. This fucking prick, I swear to god. I like when it's easy to read, but it, it hits you hard. Like automobile. <laughs> In this poem. <sighs> Being everyone around you do great things could be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. I'll put more weight on you. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it full flat on purpose, like my chest. Don't <laughs> stop. It helps, it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. The joke is that I have smaller breasts than the rest of the anime women. <laughs> Is that even true? I don't know. Well, we baby has we, smaller we, we, boobs than the rest. We of haven't them. seen her do the fucking this pose, so we don't really know. Well, that's because Monica is so fucking inhuman. She can just do that. So I we, just did it. So you did. I I I, 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 I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what she it said. means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. <laughs> it is what it means to be proletariat. <laughs> I didn't expect that from the youngest one here. Or didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. But I'm still 18. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Sumi, I mean Natsuki, is feeling proud, then I won't Shut take that away. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! If, if, if what? <laughs> I didn't catch that. <laughs> what is happening? I hate you! <laughs> what, what, what planet am I on? He caught her Sumi. Sumi is the name of Woody Allen's daughter slash wife. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. No. I, I, I don't really care how old everyone is. Yeah, I bet you fucking don't. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't <laughs> take that away from her. <laughs> All right. Yuri's up next. <laughs> Ellipses. <laughs> See, it's really the one words that I struggle with because I can't. I don't have any context. It's not. It's not a word. It's. Mm. Mm. Oh, not not. Mm. Yeah, no. This, this ellipses. The single sounds are just going to get more and more horny as the recording goes on. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. That was nasty. Yeah, 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 Yuri, steer, Yuri steers at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. I'm killing you. Um. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Uh, I forgot what accent I was doing for this. Alan, Alan Shankman. Alan DeGeneres. 
Uh, you know I was a lesbian. I forgot to start speaking. That's good. I'm pivoting entirely. Joe Pesci. Um. Uh, yes. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I I'm not. <laughs> I just I just need to put my thoughts into words. It's a retirement community, ma. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Well, uh, er, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I can't fucking hold a conversation with this guy. Just talk normal. I guess that might be. Who is that one? I guess after that it, reading through it, that it might be after it, reading through it. Yeah. I guess that it it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad, huh? Tony Soprano, no. is that you? I was more doing. I was more going for the fonts, I think, but I've never watched Happy Days. <laughs> Did I just? Did I just raise my voice? Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Hey. <laughs> yeah. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Uh, it's it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually that are usually typical of new writers. <laughs> and uh, having been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on others, on them. Shit. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they, uh, they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a, a writing style separate from the the topic matter, and then the, the fuck me. And they, yeah. I, I might as well be in and they form the two together. And they form the two together. <laughs> the end result in that, in that. Both Help. the end result is that both the style and the The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Beautiful. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. I just took your ass to school, son. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Microprocessors. Of ah, course, that's not ah. that's that's not something you can. Uh, not something damn. you can be you can blame me for it or anything, you know. It's not something you can blame me for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. And just finding, not just finding them and building them, but getting them the, to, to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might make you, it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the, in the club gives you uh, here some valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. That whole... Excuse? <laughs> 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 Why 
Christ! <laughs> oh. Uh, um. <coughs> <coughs> well. <laughs> Never mind. Don't fucking worry about it, kid. Just, just, I shouldn't be talking about. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, sh- fuck. You know. It's you know what I'm, fine. It's fine. It's my life. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. I really don't know either, kid. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. <laughs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, <laughs> as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Whoa! And I'm going to presume you can't read that, Morgan, so... I'll no. Uh, not even no. a little. I'll read it for you. I don't think I could funny. read that if if the, the, the image came through properly. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You ready? Ghost <laughs> under the light. <laughs> This ought to be good. The tendrils of my hair <laughs> illuminate beneath the amber glow. <laughs> Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have yeah. withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Look, not to toot my own horn or anything, but that's easily the best poem we've seen so far, right? <laughs> Ellipses. Uh, I'm sorry to have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. The fuck do you sound like Tim Allen now? But it took you such a long time to read. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, you see, I just don't, I don't read script very often. Also, Tim Allen can't read. <laughs> I don't know how to read. <sighs> I, 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 I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Pretty shitty. <laughs> Does this say like eh? Is this another guttural yeah. noise? Yeah, this okay. is Tim Allen. <laughs> you can just say eh? guttural noise from now on. Okay. No, I think we should just keep making noises. That's uh <laughs> fucking I can't. <laughs> I cannot explain how funny it is to watch Morgan That's... fail to read simple words. <laughs> That's a relief. How about how about you take your stupid prison island internet on the other side of this fucking planet? And shove it so far up your ass that it comes out your mouth in perfect clarity. <laughs> Look at how they massacred my boy. I can read. Don't you ever. I need to calm down. Oh, I like the poem. Right, Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short, was it? I I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'm gonna go drink myself to death. I'll be honest. <laughs> okay, Ernest. Hey, shut up. Uh, since it's your uh, since it's our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more mild. I'm usually, uh, really usually inspired by the works of Eli Roth. 
just extraordinarily violent. So I start. I thought I'd start with something something easy to digest. G. G. Ballard. My That's favorite gross. movie is uh, the Rob Zombie Halloween Two. I want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> Are you into ghosts, Yuri? What are you asking me? I just want a fucking ghost. Is that what you just asked me? Did you all hear that? What does that say? Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Tyler, you dumb shit. (laughs) Really? I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> telling me. Uh, I suppose you, 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 uh, you. <laughs> Crank that soldier boy. Help. Superman that whole. Well, you I suppose you all, you had only one glance. You, I suppose you. Did only glance over. Opportunity after comes once in a lifetime. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance it over. You only got one step. shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. I swear to God, if you start quoting Eminem in the <laughs> Zoom, I'm gonna lose it. Me is weak. But palms remember. are sweaty. My name is Yuri. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that I don't have the power to mute you right now. But remember the that poems often suppress? Is that what that says? Opposite of that. Express. Express. Okay, that makes sense. Express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually... Uh, they, use, more they usually tell. do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. I love that Morgan, who is fucking struggling to read a fucking single English word, is somehow got stuck with the most articulate bitch in this game. I swear to God. They usually... God damn it, you just skipped my line. You said it. In, no, I didn't. Oh, in fuck. this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only losing what does that say being 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 symbolically compared to a ghost that's me in the corner lingering in her in her last in her last remaining place of comfort (laughs) unable to let go of the past and Soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. Oh, I hadn't even thought of it. That's impressive. (laughs) It's nothing, really. (laughs) Well, it makes me happy you think that. (laughs) Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Uh, I guess I'll have to keep trying. <clears throat> I'm counting on you. And if you fail me, it's your ass, Chrissy. Jake, whoa, 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 whoa. S- slow down. Jake, are you possibly able to read Monica's part, or do I need to do it? I, I mean, I want to, but I, I literally, it's so pixely. I can't fucking read. Okay, I'll, I'll do it for this, and then after this, we'll go, we'll hopefully go back to the script. Well, no. hopefully. Maybe I someone, on, maybe mm. someone in this hemisphere should play the game next time. Oh Hi, Tyler. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. <laughs> good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, 
you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better? I I'm got always a, listening. Got a fucking suggestion? <laughs> well, tell me, what's your what's your fucking suggestion? Say it to my fucking face, you kiwi fuck. Sex. We should, we should have we should have donuts next time. That's my suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will happily include donuts. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Oh, it's it's already up. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? Not even a little. Well, you see, it's kind of embarrassing, but I, I guess I'll have to. <laughs> All right, calm down, Annie Hall. <laughs> it's George Bush again. <laughs> I'm, I'm figuring shit out, right? Don't worry, Tyler. <laughs> We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I hand Monica my poem. This smells like shit. You wipe your ass with a poem. <laughs> mm. I'm so fucked up. <laughs> just just rubbing just rubbing that ink on my 18 year old digital taint <laughs> what the hell is the matter with you I, like I don't know it, my Tyler. family didn't love me enough I don't fucking know oh well alright that's your business I guess really? if no one got me I know Jake's laughs always got me <laughs> you really like it it's a lot cuter than I expected. God damn, that is condescending. <laughs> Everyone in this game talks like they're <laughs> Cersei Lannister vying for the throne. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Including that. <laughs> it kind of makes me think something that Suki would write. That bitch. She's a good writer, too. <laughs> So take that as a compliment and please look at my ass. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It is a very nice. By any chance, poem. have you read anything by Shell Silverstein? What the fuck? That's... What is that, a fucking turtle? <laughs> <laughs> now we get to read the entire oh, uh... tree and cry. That was so dumb it hurt. Uh, uh, don't, <laughs> don't read books by turtles. Takes forever to get through, if you know what I'm saying. Fucking <laughs> click. God oh, damn. God. That fucking hurt more. All right, about as fast as George R. R. Martin. Did you say your line yet? I fucking yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. What is he, fucked in the head? His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. So to answer your question, yep. Yep. And sometimes they're only a few lines long, fucking lazy. They yeah. might even feel like they're written for kids. But if you think about them, it's the darkest shit you've ever read. Thing and express the views of the world that would apply to anybody. Sounds pretty kinda fucking... Like how, sounds kind of like how Avatar The Last Airbender is about the dangers of fascism, but it's a children's show. There is Amazing. no war in Bossing Say. Sounds pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna read your line or what? I think that was I, his I, line. I said my fucking line. You move on. <laughs> no, you... All right, get saucy with me. You want to go off script and then get <laughs> not like we not like that would be a fucking new concept at this point. 
I don't know when to move forward, you twat. Why are you fucking protective of this game? You haven't played it before. Because I want to know when to move forward. I, I was talking to Tyler. I know why you're protective of it, because you like it. Same as me. I, I don't because, well, I mean, about the strangers like me. I mean, frankly, this is the dialogue is, is mediocre as hell. So I will if if I think of something better to say, I'm gonna say it. Carry on. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Eh, sorta. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore, fucking moron. You're a dumb fucking idiot. I'm sure. Oh, that's you. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. That was a really genuine read. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing it. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. You, uh, you fucking what, mate? <laughs> That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. You ever, uh, you ever, you ever taken ketamine? <laughs> Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. <laughs> so don't you force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry. I'm not very good. I wasn't worried. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be shit. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. <laughs> Thanks for being a fucking bitch. My perfectly formed bosoms are not enough to get me through this world. <laughs> That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Like a three-dimensional human being, which you don't treat me like? I see. Well, let's have it then. <clears throat> hole in wall. Like nice. Just like a glory hole. Uh, it couldn't have been me. See? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the, Damn it. See the direction... The spackle protrudes, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole wasn't too bright it was too deep stretching forever into everything whole of infinite choices <laughs> i realize now i wasn't looking in i was looking out and he on the other side now he was looking in and then i woke up <laughs> directed by joel and ethan cohen <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? Well, it's very freeform. I think that's what you call it. You can just tell me it sounded like shit. You don't have to fucking cushion the blow like that. Suck my dick. I will. Do it. Look, we'll get you come here that. into my home. Asking me for feedback. On the day of my daughter's wedding. You didn't even call me Godfather. I'll fucking marry your daughter. I'm going to Ask someone else for feedback. Fuck, whatever the line is. Move on. Yeah, good good one. 
<laughs> so okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be pretty powerful. What was the first inspiration uh, behind this one? Well, fucking inside the actor's studio. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I don't know where you can uh, put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of uh, epiphany recently. It's been uh, influencing my poems a bit. Some kind of uh, epiphany. Uh, epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. This, this remake of Neon Genesis Evangelion is weirding me the fuck out. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. But honestly, no less than the original. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story... Your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big puddle, a big dark puddle of ink. As opposed to a light puddle of ink. I'm a little slow in case you haven't noticed. I so just move your hand and go with the flow. I can go with the flow. That's my advice Don't for today. Don't say it doesn't matter. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice. There's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. Fucking amazing insights here, man. I sigh. Yeah, I fucking bet you do. <laughs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Siori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. This is a lot of that. It's with this language. Eh? Um, you say something. Oh, it's nothing. N N uh, uh, Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's a uh, pretentious. <laughs> ah, thanks. Yours is uh, cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. 
How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. You're a bitch. I hope you die. Uh, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Well, let's fucking hear them. Oomph. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Like Tyler. That, that's not a... Which, that's that's the, a bad approach for feedback. Just... <laughs> Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Tyler did too. Did I what? So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Oh, so here we go. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect that to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. Tyler liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Ladies, ladies, there's dick enough for everybody. <laughs> well, that's oh, what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, you're at a commission once you come one time. Don't even dudes, fucking dudes, talk to me dudes, 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 dudes. <sighs> this is what they meant when they said dudes rock. Natsuki suddenly arises. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yori. Eh? It's not what I. Uh, you, you, you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Tyler appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And now do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? And the Spurred Women's Club is already going in. <laughs> I know if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of way, out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh! Sayori. Sayori! Oh. Uh, um. He's, um. Everybody okay? Well, you know what? I take that as a no. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Tyler started showing up. You found oh. out for the whore master. I will have Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki, that, that's a little. This doesn't, this doesn't involve, involve you. you. Well, I guess I go fuck myself then. Good. Let me walk. I don't like fighting, guys. Um. Oh. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Tyler. She. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poem so convoluted for no reason? You know, so maybe a fourth grader can get past them. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out, you absolute fucking puzzle box of a human being. That's a bit of a linear way to look at art, honestly. Fuck off, Nolan. Oh, Help me explain right. that to her, Tyler. Wait, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. How about you take Yo this deep and expressive words in our language? It's the only way 
to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. I, can't I don't like much, <laughs> much like this. You see how this Neanderthal talks. I can't figure out the point at which Morgan stopped being Tony Soprano and started being Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. Either. I am once I again <laughs> asking you to tell me that my poem is better. Oh, Avoiding man. them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You also, you, you hit Ben Shapiro for like two <laughs> words there. Shut, so shut hypothetically, me. if my poem was better than... <laughs> shut, like, all right, this is twice in my life now that I've been compared to, to Ben Shapiro, and it always did me in the first time. <laughs> you understand that, right, Tyler? Uh, well, uh... Well, 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 uh, huh. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Well, it's because you're in it for the nookie, I believe. It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. It is the correct usage of whom there. It's more, this fellow's more intelligent than he gives himself credit for. He's, he's just a misogynist. So of course, that's, that's going to true. be, that's going to be Sayori. What do you, what do you, Help what me, do you do, fellas? So we're it's thinking. how gets to pick. So he picked, yeah. Yeah. N Natsuki. That's not who I picked. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. Uh. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Once again asking for your pity. Uh... Sayori. Uh, does someone say my name? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Uh, that was Lee, uh, Tyler. Um... Well, that's a problem. This isn't the bell part. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I agree. Uh, well, maybe go fuck yourself. It's not fair to others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Um. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yori what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Why are you? She would bitch? never. I am the Don of North Jersey. It's your maturity that made her upset in the first place. Hey, Jay. I am literally just standing here. Excuse me. Are you listening to yourself? I am a second generation immigrant 18 year old woman. This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri. Yes? You guys are my friends. Eh. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Sayori's a member of Positivity Club. I'll fucking kill you <sighs> with my bare fucking hands, Davey. I swear to God. Do it. My friends are wonderful people, except for Davey. And I love them because of their differences, except for Davey. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. Uh, not me, though. Why are we fighting? Be because. Well. Also, Natsuki's cute. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm so fucking gay, oh my god. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Insanely Stop large. About... Stop talking about my tits, I swear to god. They're... It's really hard to ignore them, Yuri. 
big and beautiful. <laughs> you don't have to ignore them. I appreciate the attention, but you don't have to bring it into conversation. Ellipses. Another ellipses. Sayori. Hmm. Sayori, Sayori, do you want to have a five-way? Sayori stands triumphantly. It's a lot of work for one fella. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. God damn. One, two, I'll, uh, three, four. Make some tea. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. She, <laughs> she flew. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri fucking gaps it. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring just at leaves nothing. leaves and never appears in the game again. Donkey Donkey Literature Club is actually uh, Sonic Rangers. Uh, so, this so, is actually, what Fuck I off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, wait, off. no, my bad. <laughs> How about you suck my dick? How about you read your fucking line? So, this Tyler, is Tyler, not you. You're, you're doing perfect, Monica. Excuse me? <laughs> Read my, the line! It's my line! This is why Sayori is vice president. Humph! <laughs> there you go. Oh, I accidentally left clicked. Right clicked. Damn it. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. Well, to be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. Yes, fuck load of use you were in that exchange. All right, maybe sell your fucking jets there. Uh, as president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Theory is a, amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Titties. Uh, you could say that. I'm sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> she might be an earhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows... Sorry, did you say something about her bosom? I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Take good care of her, okay? Roger that. I'd hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. It's a good Brock Hampton song. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Is that a verb? Yes. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. Fuck now, fuck. what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> exactly. If only I could get the on off thick. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Just tell me you wanna fuck already. God damn. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. <laughs> it was all right. Well, mostly. Sorry. Tyler, how about you? Yeah. I'd say the same. Yeah. Stick it in your yeah. Well... Cabodan. Anyway, it was <laughs> it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Modest mass I like that band. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Cowboy Dan was big in the cowboy scene. But maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better than the one you made today, which was total fucking dog shit. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> yeah. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everybody likes today. 
with any luck. That means I'll have pussy in no time. Hey. <laughs> oh, brother. Where, are Where thou? art thou? I nod to myself with newfound determination. Tyler! Ready to walk home? Sure. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. This is me beaming. It truly has had been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. Maybe you should fuck me about it. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Yeah, me too. Do you have any other friends, kid? What the hell is wrong no. with you? I gotta, I gotta piss like a racehorse. Go do it. <laughs> Kill myself, propane, propane accessories.